You're a monster, dude. Condemned to die, a convicted serial killer who mercilessly preyed upon vulnerable women is sentenced to death. It's a finale that some of the victim's family members think is too humane. At a hearing this morning, the judge presiding over Sean Great's double murder trial heeded the jury's recommended sentence of death. That same jury found Great guilty of abducting, raping, and murdering two women back in 2016. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more from the emotional day in court. The families of the victims say it's been a long and difficult road to get to this point. And while the healing process will be different for each person, that process can begin today. With balloons and hymns, I was once lost. the Stanley and Griffith families marked the end of the trial of the man they call a monster. Just minutes earlier, more than a half dozen family members gave victim impact statements, reminding the court and great himself what was taken away from them. Thank you to everyone who has supported our families. Today, this monster will pay for what he has done, and I'm confident it will be with his life. In 2016, Great raped and strangled Stacy Stanley and Liz Griffith before stashing their bodies inside of an abandoned home that he was squatting in. The victims' families talked of Stacy and Liz, saying each woman was a kind, gentle, and caring soul before Great snuffed them out. Great asked the families for forgiveness, something many family members said can't be done. Today's a good day, mainly for all of you guys and myself. I you know, hope we could just move on from all of this. You ever bury your mother? I had to pick a casket out. I didn't expect that this young. I had to go in there and pick a casket out, and he made it to where I couldn't even have an open casket to say goodbye to her. Great has also confessed to the murders of three other women. We're told prosecutors in Richland County may seek charges against Great for the murder in their jurisdiction. Great is scheduled to be executed in mid-September on the second anniversary of his capture. The appeals process will likely push that date back, however. If for some reason his execution is overturned, he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Reporting in Ashland County, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.